Andy, I'll kick it over to you. What's up, nerds? <laughs> I'm Nandy, and this is uh, Raymond Freehold from Havoc. And this is also going to be the one instance where I'm not going to play in Italian. Because we're running all Tinsies today. This is, uh, first of all, the hardest category in, uh, in the community, so I'm probably going to focus a lot. I hope to be underestimated, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get my file ready. And there is a, a slight chance of world record today, because the world record run is not optimized. What's with the, with the E, right? Yeah, no, this is fine. Oh, it's what an A. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> no, I feel bad. Uh, it's for a friend pick, so uh, sadly couldn't make it today. But uh, are you guys ready? What time? Okay. In three, two, two one, one, go! <laughs> Hallelujah! That's all, folks. In the okay, I'm Rayman Free, all Tinsies. Like I said, the hardest category in existence for this game. And uh, it's gonna involve uh, a lot of the tricks you oh, see no. in any percent. But with a, with a major Ooh, twist, because we're going to grab all 60 Tinsy Cages that are in the game. And not 59 for what I'm known. Hey, he does like to skip some cages. I like to skip one cage that I really... that I should not skip anymore. But... Um, Let's just say uh, we, we are probably going uh, to see more of the levels than we see in any percent because we need to do a lot of uh, minor route changes because of the Tinsley locations. So, where is my disc? I made something up for this part. Everybody knows this. We finally play in English. We can finally do it. You see this game? I got my... We're gonna read the manual. Phew. <laughs> How's it hanging, Wiener dog? Come on, I'm kidding. Yeah, so this hey, is a like very long un unskippable cutscene right at the beginning <laughs> of the run. Don't be so touchy. Here, check out what I found. The, the manual. manual. It's, it's all in here. here. If, if you, you read the story, you find your way out. out. Once upon Once a time, upon a time there were loves, harmony, harmony, love, peace, boring. Suddenly, a black, black lump turns red, red lumps into hoodlums. The, the world is in great danger. danger. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here. It's, it's that glow box took off with your hands. hands. Knowing what a scary Dirty cat he is. is. He's probably hiding someplace. <laughs> it's not going to be easy to get your hands on him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hands. Oh, the, the oh, puns. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention the I heavy action to. wins you punch. Shout outs to Das Hanbu. <laughs> Let me demonstrate. Eye <laughs> on the counter. So, we are finally uh, going to hear what what's going yes, up with this tutorial. Really cool. But mode, your actions are first off, uh, you gotta act uh, any percent is... Uh, the first level, Fairy Council, is when not going to be different over any percent. Over all Tinsies, so I mean. Uh, because there are no Tinsies in this level, like so... We have to do... We have to just do it normally, like any percent. So, Nils, I'm going to give you the chance to explain Super Jumping. So, uh, in this game, there's this little glitch that we almost use everywhere, which is if you uh, go, walk up a ledge and you go into first person mode, you get a, a, a jump boost, uh, a boost up in the air, which we use to skip Okay. practically 90% of the game. I'm going to interrupt you. Uh, because we play on English, I need an audio cue right now. Because we, there's a one frame trick to skip this cutscene. Oh, heck. Just blows my mind. <laughs> like, normally we play in Italian method. to skip this cutscene, uh -huh. but now that we play in English, we just get it. For this but I don't mind. Also, language for Murphy. <laughs> nice. Well, that's what he just did there is called hand skip. It's uh, you basically skip about two, one minute. Yeah, about one minute. Over glitches, you save one minute because you have to grab, uh, you have to save uh, Glowbox, who has your hands. But apparently, Rayman knows magic, and now he has his hands. Except for the Xbox version, he doesn't get his hands back for some weird reason. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> Only on the original Xbox. I'm gonna do a really difficult strat here called uh, the Frozen Jump. Shoutouts to Frozen. Pro. Oh, I didn't get it. 
took way too long. Okay, I, f I finally had the chance to do old school strats out of BSG. <laughs> Old school, old school strats are nice. So every trick is uh, involves the same. Yeah, uh, every jump involves the same tricks, but we all gave them names. So this one was, for example, Andre skip. And later we have like names. Uh, what we're not going to see right now, but uh, those are skips called Lady Skip. Lady Skip is also pretty fun. Close to the heart of the world. Nice. So, the average, uh, my average for a uh, fairy council should be under 8 minutes. Because we play in English, it's probably gonna be like an 8, eight minutes, 5 seconds. If I get this first try, at least. Hey, he's gonna... He's gonna super jump out of this room. Eh? Come on, game. Oh, that's too bad. Game. I need to line up again. Phew. This is the this is the longest I have done for this trick in every BSG, to be honest. You maybe do the trick. I'm getting flashbacks to Jon Snow right now. Oh my God. What is this? You can do it, Nami. What the hell? Believe in yourself. Ramon! <laughs> oh. Normally, the code word for every trick is Ramon. Best game ever. There we go. There we go. When's Ramon a BSG? <laughs> when is Ramon at BSG? Let's don't talk about that. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be around... Uh, an eight, eight thirty. Andre, where's Andre? Let's go uh, ask the Still mums. pretty decent. Also, because we skipped the whole story, we finally have a chance to listen to it because we play in English. Excuse me, have you seen Andre? So finally, we know what's up with Andre. Because Andre, let's, the story is just Andre is Black Lob and Bla he, he tries to rule the world. But accidentally, Glowbox eats him. So. Yeah. I don't know why, but it just accidentally flew into his stomach. And now and we can't keep Glowbox. And now we get to get. Oh, sorry. And now we have to visit, visit the doctors to cure him. So there are three doctors around the world. Um, yeah, we just have to visit we have to we have to visit them in Clearly Forest. So Get ready for the first Teensy Highway. Yeah, b best music ever. Best music ever, but luckily I don't have chat right now. <laughs> yeah, don't read chat. Don't read chat. Rule number one. Also, what he's gonna do uh, during the Teensy Highway, he's gonna ho ho press and hold the A button so it goes slightly faster. Also, I forgot to uh, explain. Uh, because everything goes really fast. Uh, you, you saw me uh, manipulating a the, the snapshot mode in this game. That's because uh, some tricks uh, just work by holding Y off a latch, and that's why we super jump. But some have a really precise angle, and that's why we use the camera buffer mode. And you have a few frame window to after that extend them. Um, for some parts in platforms, for example, it's really, really, really precise to clip through things. So most of the tricks you're seeing are really, really freaking difficult. But most of all, we also have like calm places. So for example, uh, that's in Highway. But you still have to focus on this uh, this section because it loses a lot of time to fall, fall out of them. And also, I'm already gonna explain um, what's going to be seen in the next level because there's a new strat found. Uh, it was in concept mode, uh, found by V-Frame. And it's a way to skip the cutscene in the uh, first lap, the next level after this, but it's clearly for us. And I have been working on a setup for it for ages. And, there are and the setup is still in concept, but there are currently only three people who managed to get that cutscene skip. And those are me, V-Frame, and Splendid. And Splendid is, our, uh, is a new member of the community. Has been there for a while, but he recently started running. He is also the only one who runs this game on keyboard. Uh, 
850. That's decent. Uh, uh, during this cutscene, yeah, we have uh, time for a donation. All right, we have 10 euros from Critical Sit saying, Hi, I'm new here. Can you please teach me about this game? <laughs> well, we no, wait, wait. During <laughs> Living Death. Living Death. Living Death. Living Death. We have a little surprise for you, Sid. Yeah. Music, where are you? Shut it! So, the story for this level is Andre is thirsty and we need to get some. Uh, some uh, yeah, some, some plum juice, but it Clorox is allergic to plum juice. So that's gonna be fun. Also, I'm gonna focus on this. So what he's trying to do now is just doing a super jump. But I need to grab the stitch. I need to get to the stage indeed. And now focus on him. There we go, first try. And he's gonna get another TNC over here. It's really hard to uh, to kill those two, uh, to kill the Tinsy and the Hoodlum at the same time in one jump. So now we're gonna do a glide walk. Nils, can you explain glide walks? Oh, sure, I can. A glide walk is basically when you jump, but you also press the A button and you just, you just you keep uh, your collision changes when you do that, so you Rain will just float. Well, not really float. He will just skip, skim up, le sk skim up walls. And right here we have uh, the skip I was talking about. It has one pixel window from what we know right now. Wait. Oh, I almost did it. <laughs> so the thing is, you get teleported on the bridge, and you have a really, really small window to perform an input. And if you perform an input in that window, you uh, basically skip the cutscene because it's not detected uh, on the on the placement. You go where the cutscene starts, so it just doesn't play at all. So the waterfall's coming up. Let's nice. get ready. Get ready for some spicy button mashing. We just saved two seconds by skipping a cutscene. <laughs> also, he's drinking plum juice. Yeah, he's drinking jump jump uh, plum juice, but Lobox is allergic, so he got superpowers. So basically, he has to mesh the buttons now and avoid piranhas. And you see me meshing harder in the beginning than um, than right now, and that's just because uh, the first the first swim uh, input is really hard detected. So if you miss time miss time the first uh, meshing, uh, you just fall down. So that's why I start meshing to hit the first frame of uh, of the meshing. Oh, uh, I forgot something. <laughs> Did you forget a cage? No, I uh, I was actually planning to make a little notes about my uh, Tinsy counts, but I have to do this out of my head now. Should be good. So now we're gonna do all OG strats. OG strats. Oh, this platform. Pain of, pain of people's existence. Still used in uh, Rayman 3 HD. But HD is a weird board. So we're going out of bounds to grab a tin C behind a red box. And because uh, the game doesn't know that you can uh, go through uh, go through doors from the other side, you just it just lets you through. <laughs> that is a weird ledge. That's not how it goes. There we go. What he's doing here, by the way. I don't know if you have explained this already. It's an extended super jump. So basically what he's doing is super jumping, but then mashing the first person button to gain more height, which makes uh, some tricks a lot easier. Yeah, I only explained the camera buffer variation, but the, the non-camera buffer tricks are easier because you have a bigger window to perform them. Okay, nice. Now I can just walk through a part of the cutscene. Because the game the, doesn't, the game do, doesn't see you on the place where it should uh, place in one of the cans, so you can just walk through it. Another OG strat right here. So what we're going to do right here, we're going to skip all the hoodlums here because there is no point of killing them, and we're just gonna uh, hit kill these two. And grab this cage. And that is the last for this level. I have to go break something. For this section, to say it right. That is, I also, think one more section after this. Two more. Two more. I'm yes. gonna go, uh, I'm going to do cool strats right now. 
Oh, Swex strats. Well, we got it. No, one more. One more. Ah. Oh. Normally, in any percent, we call these bats. We call these bat strats because normally you skip this little section because you can fly through the whole uh, the, through the whole screen. Okay, and that was uh, CF2. Coming up to CF3, I'm going to perform a new skip. O only viable in all Tinsies. And that's uh, cl a clipping through a out-of-bounds wall with a glide walk. With a strafeless glide walk, to be exact. So it's even harder. We're coming back to strafeless strats uh, when uh, around the middle of the game. Also right here, we're going to see our first mid-air super jump. And it basically works the same as a normal uh, camera buffer super jump. But instead of doing it on the ground, you do it against a wall. And it gives you hive for some reason. Yeah, because for some reason, when you... Bolt first person mode, when the camera's fixed, it just moves. You just get into first person mode for like a couple frames. Okay, I'm gonna use an audio cue here to make an extra roll. Nice. So every uh, six gauges, uh, your HP bar goes up. And it's really handy for the mid boss that you're going to see. Because normally we have to get a few uh, red lumps for, uh, for health. But now we don't have to. Also, I'm going to really focus on this one because this is a really difficult skip. My nose is itching. Oh, that's a reset, probably. Yeah. I basically soft locked here. Oh, uh, I have a... No, wait, wait, wait. I can recover. Uh, we are not allowed to uh, menu... Br for the rules, to say it exact, for the rules, we are not allowed to uh, duplicate Tinsies. And you can duplicate Tinsies by menu breakouting, like I just did. So I have to keep in mind that I need to skip the next Tinsy gauge. Because otherwise, this run is invalid. Because that gives us 61 cages. I'm gonna try this one more time. Uh, I already had, I already expected that I was going to fill this trick because it's just extremely difficult and precise. But let's give it one more shot. It's the wrong level. I'm stuck. I really want to show this off. Oh man. Why? Why? Come on. I'm sad. Yeah, that's really unfortunate that you missed that. There are probably a lot of Fs in chat now. I press F to pay respect to the wrong. You know what? And then I'm here. First try. <laughs> this is a strafeless jump. Strafeless jumps are, uh, over compared to normal camera buffer super jumps, really, uh, really finicky because uh, you don't have an exact angle, and angle angle placement is really important for this speedrun. Uh, Raymond's movement's really weird when you're not strafing. Smooth but clunky in speedruns. Yeah. That's nice jump. That's kind of hard actually. I want to try it so bad. I, I'm, I'm just gonna show it off. I'm gonna give this one more time. You know what they say in Dutch? What do they say in Dutch? Ik heb scheep gezegd. Oh. Je vraagt het overslaan. <laughs> oh, this gives me flashbacks to oh. the door skip. So I had the later. placement. I had the placement, but not the exact uh, timing for the jump. I want to make Alexis proud. Oh. Gonna go overestimate again. Yay. Nah, JK.
There, there we, we go. go. Sorry if that took so long. Invincible cutscene. Someone just asked in chat, Trimmer, is this 107? No reply. No reply. Sub 30 would be cool though. Oh wait, uh, I'm gonna go grab the backup cage. Normally you can skip grabbing this can, but I'm just gonna do it for safety. So, Master Cog is coming up. What? what who's Master Cog? It's the boss. What boss? The boss that we're gonna skip really I, easily. I have never heard of Master Cog. I thought, uh, the, I thought this skip was just named MK Skip for... Just or for your card skip. No, for Mark. Mark Skip. Mark Skip. Mark Skip. I really don't know what you're talking about. So we're just flying out of bounds here. <laughs> uh, no BB. Also, hi. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Oh, uh, hi, Mark. And by Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Oh, bye, Mark. So we're coming up on the doctor's office. And these are like little challenges, small challenges. You just have to kill all the hoodlums to proceed. I'll be also going for a really precise uh, quick kill right here. Because there are three hoodlums uh, blocking the cage. Oh, I missed it by one shot. Damn. That was close. Oh, wait. My voice hurts. I wanted to do Italian glow box, but my, my voice just said no. Just gave up. So, coming up to the second Tinsy Highway. Um, for around the first one and a half minutes, I have nothing to say, so I'm gonna take some revenge on Textera to give him some time to talk about why we are here. All right, no problem. As you know, you are watching BSG, uh, which is Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We are raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society. The Dutch Cancer Society helps people suffering from cancer, helping to fight the disease and give relief to people suffering from the disease. 90% of your donations go directly towards the Dutch Cancer Society and the remaining 10% will be used to make the stream even better. For people who want to join during one of these events, we got our annual event coming up soon again from August 19th until the 26th. Uh, we'll be live in Bladel here in the Netherlands, having a week-long 24-7 stream showing even more amazing speedruns. So mark your schedules and for more info, check our website for more details on how to attend. By that, we still have a couple of incentives on this marathon. Uh, for, for example, the character name for the uh, Zelda randomizer run and also for the final cutscenes on the Great Plateau uh, Breath of the Wild run. So get those donations in. We really want to see those getting met. Thank you, Tex. You did it better than I did during Spyro. Thank you. So, uh, coming up next, we have the level Bog of Merc. And in Bog of Merc, we're going to start off with a really really cool trick uh, called PCM and PCM stands for playable camera mode uh, so we are just holding d-pad right what is the snapshot mode in this game uh, during during the cuts uh, during the transition of the Cincy highway uh, to the level what uh, keeps us in the snapshot state but for some reason the game doesn't detect that we are in it so we can just walk through it what gives us uh, infinite mo infinite timers for our power-ups. And we are going to use that to skip the next boss, Pagoniax. So we are going to see that. And also, oh, I filled it. We also had like this really little joke in the Rayman community for this trick. The glitchless killer. The glitchless killer. And are you already uh, regretting that you're on the couch with me? Yes or no? Uh, yes. No. Are you sure? I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to. So, the problem is, if we press yes, we are screwed, and our PCM is gone. 
So we have to we have to try to stay on this screen and press no on every time we try to jump. And it's really hard. It's really difficult. Just like every trick in this game, to be honest. Yeah, this is a really difficult speed game to get in, but it's pretty cool and rewarding once you get good at it. Also, just to mention, this trick got found by Nidog, our baguette guy. Our favorite baguette. <laughs> so he's quickly gonna get a teensy cage. Wow. Nope. Can you maybe... Oh, no. You are... Well, that's gonna be a Begonia X fight, man. Or ah. are you gonna reset? Restart the level. Oh, uh, I'm gonna fight Begonia X. What I don't get is why am I still in... in cinema mode? I don't know. Well, here you get to see something you don't see very often in speedruns, or in three speedruns anymore. What's your problem, you afraid of girls? Hi, Mom. A boss fight that we almost always skip. Also, I'm gonna go for a saber cycle here. It's pretty difficult, where I need an audio cue for her. Nice. That's not, that, that's not easy. That sounded so awkward. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh. Also, did we introduce you already? No, but... Uh, this is uh, Linky Link, the OG uh, scrub from the community. He is the original uh, founder of uh, the camera glitches in this game. And he haven't uh, finished one speedrun at all. I haven't even finished one speedrun of this game, but I but do he, know this game. He was the person who broke this game the most. Well, that's not true. I was the one that found the thing that broke the game. Other people found the strats with it. I just found that it was possible. So, uh, most cre a lot of credit that should go to G Pro and G Pro, Alexis, Alexis Pro guys, Pro guys, Sid, Frozen as well. So I need this power up right now to first hit the hook boomer and then to grab the gauge. We need the, uh, the blue can from this because um, otherwise you can't make it. There's this really cool OG strat you can do by manipulating uh, focus mode or strafe mode in this game so that you don't have to fall down to grab the last, to, to grab the secret Tinsy cage. So it just locks on the cage. Ah, I didn't get it. It saves around 10 seconds. Uh, but, uh, you are so cute. There we go. Coming up next, Bog of Merc 3. Um, it's gonna be, the first instance is going to be RNG. Because it's gonna decide if I'm going to do hardcore strats or baby strats. Because uh, there's an hoodlum who's trying to kill three uh, three stingers here. And if he kills two, if he kills none, I'm gonna do hardcore strats. Oh, I killed one. Oh, that's good. There's a, on pal, you can actually make the hoodlum kill them both. But it's it's a it's a really hard instance for RNG. Also secret cage here. Nice. And this is the first instance of extending mid air jumps. Because, yeah, that's also possible. There we go, for a second try. So, for this, um... Thanks for the clapping. <laughs> 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 so, um... Like I said, uh, there is a really small window for extending mid-air jumps because you need to start camera buffering when your jump is still going on. And for normal, uh, for normal super jumps, you just let yourself fall for a few frames before you can do that. Nils, we got an interesting question from the chat. How did you find out about the camera uh, glitches? Uh, yeah. So I don't really remember, but I just was just messing around, 
Because as a kid I always used to self lock this game by doing the camera thing. But then I was but then I learned about super jumping and stuff. This was really early on. And then I just combined the two and it just worked. We are now talking about 2013, 2014. Yeah, 2014 I think. In this game rents in a few years from a two hour uh, two hour time for any percent to a uh... oh can you maybe die? Wow! I'm gonna let the hoodlum kill it. <laughs> but it went from a two hour time to a high one hour time, what is really insane. A little bit more than one hour. So the current world record for any percent is 1 hour 7 minutes and 43 seconds. Uh, 34 seconds by Alexis. And he also has the all Tinsies world record which is just under 1 and a half hours. So we're coming up to a boss fight again. This is also a really interesting skip. Because this is gonna dis this this can destroy the full marathon. If I just mess up one movement, then I can destroy the whole marathon. The whole run. And then it's just like, maybe we should do something else. <laughs> so if this run's died, we're going to switch the category to any percent. On the fly category switch. Yeah, because then I have time for it. Also, RNG instance, Resov can spawn here. But he doesn't, so that's good RNG. So we're going here because there's one in CK here. If I can get it, please. There we go. There we go. And now, for the hard part. For Rezus. We're gonna glide walk all the way through the mansion. Never mind. We are going to do any percent strats. I just, this strat, this strat, yeah. Bye, Rezov. Goodbye, Rezov. There we go. That's the first instance of where I can hard lock. The second is only be seen in any percent, but luckily we do uh, uh, all ten seeds. What what make gives an even harder strat? And uh, let's pray for good RNG now. Exactly. So we're trying to keep him in the middle to do as much damage as possible. Hey. And the uh, red power-up cage will, uh, the fist will do more damage. Uh, throw him off. This gives me the time to grab this, which is a very sneakily hidden cage. So there is also uh, there are a few instances of RNG where you need audio cues, but this is basically the best. Uh, the best RNG you can get because you can see where Rezov goes and you can just place him in certain halls but what makes him go in a, in a straight line so that was a pretty good fight so this is the easiest thread in the game show this off to your friends at home that play Rayman 3 also Rayman 3 game of the year both when is you see that Tinsy, normally you have to go all the way up the platform. But the only thing we do now, jump, grip, done. Easy every time. Easy. Oh yeah, also, just enjoy the quotes. Drop my king, it's off at, at the, the pool. pool. <laughs> These Tinsies are so derpy in this level. Help. Just the way they say help. Yeah. <laughs> it just reminds me of Burger King food lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have no powder, my I know. Also, this is my favorite. I have to go walk my flowers and water my, my God. <laughs> I have to well, my flowers and water my dogs. Also, we're punching the plum because it's faster. Because there are two uh, bodyguards here. Hey, I see light. I'm going to take a look. 
And because we're so fast, the secret that uh, Tinsy we grabbed, I uh, should drop a red can, but we, because we were so fast, he doesn't do it. Also, I'm gonna do the safe. Easy strats. Easy strats, yeah. So this jump is not a ton of, this saves a couple of seconds. Normally, Globox just spits up bubbles and you jump on them. This is a little bit faster, so we'll, we just do this. Also, the fly swatter. These are so annoying. Yeah. Because you need, normally need to curve your punches, but because we're cool, we don't have to. Because we're cool kids. Also, it's almost time for our little surprise. For our OG man, Critical Sid, who unfortunately set. couldn't make it. Oh, but, I w but I wish him a lot of fun with uh, the kitty. Oh. This is faster than doing the fountain strats. And he's skipping RNG shoe, the most dreaded thing in this entire game. We just call these splits RNG fest, and but we should still skip him. So are you ready? I'm not gonna do the uh, the the music. Okay. What should I do? What music? Uh, the background music from the videos. <laughs> sure. No, no, just go, just go. But oh. first, first, first. First, we have to do this frame perfect jump. This is a really precise jump right here, almost frame perfect, where we uh, jump on the same t uh, frame. We hit, we get hit. And the hood lungs shoot like stormtroopers, so this is a really fun skill. Come on, be nice. I guess down warp. The down warping is also a thing. Sometimes you just Another get one. teleported downwards or fall really fast. Another one. Another one. Another one. Stop it. There, there we go. go. Don't let the balloon get destroyed. No, that happened in practice. Okay, let's go. So, hello, my name is Critical Sid, and today I'm gonna teach you how to Raymond with today the first person dive. If he gets it. <laughs> I wanted to wait until you started explaining. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, go okay. on, I go on. I don't remember what he said. It was such so, a long... the thing is, you have those super jumps. Yeah, but those... instead of those super jumps, you go downwards. And that's how you do a first person dive. Shout out to Critical Sid. Shout out to Critical Sid. Probably one of the earliest people in Also the quick kill, normally you have to curve punches. And also, really hard but really cool strat right here. No, oh, normally you need to jump on that plum uh, on the barrel again and you can just skip waiting for these bubbles. But we didn't, so feels bad, man. Also another cage another here. Cage. We have to uh, uh, st watch this cage because otherwise he doesn't drop his uh, drop the can. And we're gonna see that in the next level as well. Also the best music in the game right here. <laughs> if you jump over the cutscene, you can uh, freeze the wizard. I've never seen that before. I thought the game was just crashing. Don't. Also easy strats. Yeah, how did I miss this in game testing? Okay, and right here, I'm gonna need an audio cue. And after that, I need another one. I'm just gonna do this for, uh, for swag. Because we need to do this two times normally. Ah, okay, filled the first one. That was practice. <laughs> RNG manipulation for the next trick. So normally we skip this, but now we actually have to do stuff here. Finally. So we're gonna visit the tower in this run, right? We're basically gonna run through everything. We're gonna see the most beautiful part of the entire game that usually gets skips. Exactly. <laughs> we skip, we're gonna skip this girl. Also, we're gonna abuse some physics here. Normally, you have to go all the way through this, but. Oh. Yeah. but I'm a speedy boy, so. We still have to find a strat to get all the way on top of here. I have to go. I have an appointment with my dad. Oh. I thought it was dentist. Almost. 
So for this part, I actually don't have anything to say. So if you have any donations or still have anything to say, text, go ahead. Currently no donations, but there is something I can quickly note again, which is the donations incentives. Uh, after this run, the donation incentives for the Le Legend of Zelda run will be cut off, so need to get those donations in fast to uh, make the change. Thank you. So, right off the bat, this is the, actually in the every category, except for 100%, because nobody runs that. Uh, this is the only instance where a menu breakout is, is needed. Because we're going to te we're going to uh, teleport to the start of the level after grabbing this NC. Nice double hit. Also pretty good. So now we have to uh, uh, bring this plum all the way to the to the other side of this lake, and we have to try to not hit the water because otherwise it melts. Yeah, this this is super broken. In PC, you can actually skip this part. You can just uh, uh, throw it all the way over the lake. Oh, wow. Uh, there we go. So now we got a little cutscene that they're going to open <laughs> their, their, world. their worlds for us. But we don't. There, there is actually one Tinsy there. But because the Tinsy is not in a cage. We don't have to grab it. It doesn't count. So we're gonna leave those poor free tinsies uh, in a shoe. Because yeah, they're actually in a shoe. Okay, another instance of gate skip skip attempts. <laughs> hey! Nice. I did it. <laughs> We normally need an audio cue for that, but there are so many weird setups for this. Also, watch skip. Watch skip, yes, yeah, so we're gonna do another dive, I think. We're gonna do a quick drop, as it's called. It is the same as an SPD, but instead of flo uh, going down, you just clip. And we have a time, this, this trick is timing based. No. Oh. Is it gonna be pick strats now? Why am I camera buffering? <laughs> Come on. So that was a great drop. <laughs> Took a bit too long, but uh, yeah, yeah. Attacks go ahead. We had a donation, so. Yeah, we have five euros from Eurizo007 saying, Great charity, good fun to watch, keep it up. Thank you. So, this is uh, normally the place where we fight Salage. Please don't clip in the arena. Whee! Don't start the fight. Fun fact if you clip into it, you don't even start the fight. Oh, you're, yeah. just, you're just soft locked. You're just soft locked, okay. And for some reason, you can just walk on the water. Well, on the water. Yep. On the water, underwater. It's because we need RNGs for this run. Yeah. Go ahead. We have another donation from Recold for five euros saying, Hey guys, long time donator, four time runner. It gives me great joy to kill to a great cause. Greetings from frames. P.S. Save the games. View the frames. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> you actually did it. So we had a little meme in the Rickles community with a donation generator and he actually used it. <laughs> Also, nice camera. <laughs> nice camera. And yeah, coming up next is the longest Tinsy Highway of the game and the most boring one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, after that is going to be the hardest section of this game, or for this category at least. What is um, not K1 or Desert of the Canary? So. 
Yeah, I basically don't have anything to say about this right now, so I'm gonna take this time, like in every marathon, to talk about the best game ever, Ramon the Game. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned it earlier, Ramon the Game is a free game made by our lovely community. Mostly Pixel. He sadly could have made it. And Robin and Frozen. So my plan was actually to interview Pixel about Ramon the Game during this section. So I'm gonna interview you. I don't know anything about it, but sure. Have you played it? I have for one minute. Oh, never mind. Good interview. Thank you. <laughs> get Ramon.com. <laughs> You can get Ramon at www.getramon.com. Sell out. Also, if we hold A here, there's a small chance that I that a, uh, a secret platform just uh, just lets, gives me a jump, what makes me fall down. Hard yeah, to explain. Since highways are weird, sometimes you just randomly jump. So, also. This is also my section. This is also a section what li I like to call "Let's bully Goten at a BSG." <laughs> Goten, R R R is bad. There we go. Oh wow. When is R R at BSG? Animal. Oh yeah, animal. animal. <laughs> Are you gonna run it? Who's gonna run Ray so Raymond that's, Rabbit? That's Stanley. Oh god. So we already made our. Uh, we already made something for it. We had buckets and. Uh, Buckets and a lot of water, so we can survive the two hours of rabbits. Which you will need. I'm looking at you, Sans. Rabbits are bad. Stop playing the game. Okay. He that is playing it right now. That was my... Uh, that was my section of let's bully the Rayman community. Let's go back to the speedrun. We're still not done with the TNC Highway. I just did a lot of damage to the community. <laughs> it's all gonna fall apart now. No, we can fix it with flex tape. Yeah. <laughs> and flex seal. <laughs> uh, okay, now, so talking about .k1, we are going to do a extended, ex extended playable camera mode, what involves a frame-perfect uh, cage hit, because for some reason you can get PCM in every in every section by punching and unlocking the cage at the same frame, or hitting the snapshot mode and punching and hitting the, the thing at the same frame. There we go. But now we are going to fly all the way out of bounds, and I fail this for one section, then I lose around three minutes every attempt. So I'm you'll be fine. No, nah, I will be fine. Well, you did it first try in practice, so... I did it first try in practice. It's probably not going to be first try here, then. If Alexis can do it, I can't. <laughs> already ran out of luck during practice. I already... All my luck was... Uh, all my luck was gone during uh, Mario Kart. There's also this really cool test thread where you can just roll between the, pl the plumb barrel and the wall. But that's, oh. that's Tass. I like how this looks. He's just floating there. That's uh, Rayman's T pose. <laughs> T pose to show dominance. Oh, the snipe! Okay, that's one. This is the first trick. Okay, now I need an audio cue and a lot of silence. Mm, first try! First try. But I'm not done! <laughs> I'm not done. I am regretting my marathon run uh, again. And I'm not sure. I didn't make it to that one. So I'm gonna be quiet for some time, enjoy the out of bounds movements. If you have anything important to say, uh, Tex or Niels, go ahead. Uh, we do have a donation actually, 5 euros from Diggity saying Greetings from Germany, long time viewer, third time runner Stop. I am donating because my cancer has died from donation <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay That's odd Okay, now we are in this section, this is the cage <laughs> 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 Yeah, we're gonna give a Tinsy a sponge bath, apparently. 
little grasshopper, one must never let the Canarins get near you. Capish? Capish? Can we go through him? This is the hardest part. Oh, yeah. Wait, the Canarin had some pretty cool comments. <laughs> We're gonna spit in people's eyes. <laughs> and random music. That's actually the music when you get a power up for the first time. And it just randomly plays here. Also, you can show this off to your family. Easiest trick in the game. <laughs> Ta da! Easier every and time. And this is, I, I still don't know how I got this first try. This is pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive, yes. <laughs> Let's hope Gary won't Raven, screw you over. over oh, yeah, this is Gary. <laughs> Gary the Knarren is somewhere down there. <laughs> Should we say hi to Gary? Nah, sure. I, nah, I need to keep up my estimate. Also, th this is Gary. Everybody say hi to Gary. Hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> nice. Nice estimate. We actually use... What? Okay, that never happened before. We actually use Gary... The intended route is to use Gary uh, for motion control... Motion control? For, to make objects move. That was a nice slam dunk. That never happened before. That's another one for the bingo card. Oh. This a, you can glide walk there, but it's pretty difficult, so I'm just gonna do the any percent strat again. Don't fall off, okay. It's pretty easy to not fall here. Up, up, up. Nice dancing. Nice dance moves. <laughs> You're cheerleaders! Also, too bad we're not going to see the ridiculous dot case thread. We're actually going to do this intended. Hey, does anyone have any cough syrup? Does anybody have any cough syrup? <laughs> These quotes are so amazing. Also, this game is rated PGE, and I don't know why. Yeah, Bagoniax, the Bagoniax scene almost made it rated 13. And also, they make a lot of jokes about really big eyes. <laughs> I mean, don't you feel guilty about banging up on a guy when he's all alone? Or the best one. My dad is stronger than oh, your yeah, that's dad. One, that one's coming up, right? Yeah. If we get good RNG, then we get that quote. That's the best of RNGs. Let him run. Eat better with salt. Crush his. Bones. Spit in his eyes. Please. Oh wow. Hey. So we are first going to. Gra there are two tinsies here. Really well hidden. Not. So the first one is here. Second one is here. Oh, they're by the way gonna overlap. If I do this right, by the way, the, so the songs are going to overlap. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> High quality programming. It's called uh, the Ramon 2 uh, turn based RPG OST. It's as bad as it sounds. My dad is stronger Very than dead. your dad! No way. No way. Okay. I heard his friend say that he can even pick up a door. Okay, you guys stop talking about your dads! You can even pick up a door. Don't miss the cage. Oh, okay. You stop talking about your dad. Was it? What? Okay. Just do it already. Just do it. Just All do right. it. We have a 50 euro donation from the one and only Ramon. <laughs> Saying, hey all, Ramon here. It hurts my heart seeing this cheap ripoff of my own game, <laughs> Ramon the Game. Being playing on stream right now, but I must say, Nandi, that you're doing a very nice job and I wish you good luck on the rest of the run. Greetings to Linky as well. Also, all of you know from my creator Pixel that he's watching your run right now with a lot of excitement and is looking forward to seeing you all at BSD one day, even if he couldn't make it in this time. But hey, we all have our struggles. Can anyone tell me when I'll become a beautiful independent walrus? Soon, TM. So, soon, TM. <laughs> and with that, by the way, the 
final cutscenes incentive for the Breath of the Wild run got met, so we Woo! will be seeing that. Thank you so much for that donation. Love you, Pixel. We love you, Pixel. Uh, uh, I mean Ramon. Oh, yeah, Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice skip. Uh, nice super jump. So, miss you, Pixel. We will see you soon. We will make your precious child a walrus. <laughs> your child. When you make Ramon 2, the turn-based RNG. RNG. The turn-based RNG. <laughs> the turn-based RNG. You take turns to see if you get the skip or not. Eh. Eh. Although, don't no. die. I'm gonna do swag strats soon. But first, I need to grab this one. Nah, I'm not gonna go for swag strats. It's useless now. This one is... Oh, does... I can still do it. Yeah. Oh. But the swag, though. <laughs> Come on. Do it for the walrus. Hey. Hey. I want to say, where the hell are we? Are we gonna get like a cutscene? Also, fun fact, that's the that's the place where the cutscene starts. Oh, nice. And there's a debug mode in this game. Like, we recently found a uh, debug mode in this game by holding R start and D pad right before the level starts. And you can just basically uh, use save states that are put in the game. So you can uh, go to the placement where this cutscene starts. Uh, without the cutscene even playing, but it's soft lock shoot, but it's still really fun to see. It's fun to see the things behind the games. This game is actually, this is really broken. So, coming up next, I'm going to uh, probably focus a lot here because this fight is really ridiculous. So, we're, I'm gonna try to perform a quick kill, and this quick kill involves a lot of mashing. Uh, a lot of precise placements and uh, not curving your punches because we're going to try uh, in this boss fight uh, ki uh, Kids always think that you need to grab a red can because red can is stronger to do more damage But it's actually not if you use a uh, neutral fist You can even you can do more damage than the game even recognizes it And you can skip every cycle with it, but it's really difficult, but I'm still gonna try to perform it as long as you don't get like the circle bands cycle because that takes forever. Also, just can I get a little applause from the BSG crew? We just hit it 400 euros. <laughs> 400! Only 19 to go. <laughs> Only 19, Only 19, to 19 go. euros to go. And we have the magical number. And we have the Ramon number. I missed both my powered up shots. Oh, I still get it. By the way, what he's doing now, he's running I it, it into him. I filled it. Which should stop Reflux from spinning. Why did I fail it? It's because I, uh, I missed both of my curve punches. Or both my powered up shots. But it's actually really sad. So we have to do mostly normal fight now. Also, this is what I mean with the health bar. Normally I grab a red lumps here, but now I don't have to. So I'm just gonna stand between his legs. Also, check Rayman. Never skip leg day. Never skip Black Day, Rayman. Nice. Yeah, this is a, the longest thing he does, the longest attack he does, and it's unskippable, if I re remember correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck there. Meshing wasn't correctly. Oh man. Feels bad, man. Oh, feels Rayman. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Also, also, Rayman is doing a jamboree in the cutscene. Rayman, 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 Rayman. 
Also, that's the Canarin King. Look how small he is. A Canarin Gemmery. And fireworks. Yay. And worst trick in the game. This is the hardest trick in any percent. We call it tutorial skip. And it's in hell. So I'm going to try to perform it. Oh, first try, oh, what? Nice. I wa I, there was a time where we all call, where I uh, I called it the trick Alex Alexis can't do, because when he got his first 109 in any percent, uh, this was one of the only tricks that he failed. So I like to call the I like to call this uh, the trick Alexis can't do. Still there. Also, normally in all TNCs you have to fight these two fellas and a mid boss right here because uh, a glow box needs to drink that plum juice to get to that Tinsy cage. But now, uh, thanks to Glackham, who's actually a really good Rayman 1 runner, uh, I saw him doing this strat, what, nor what, what gives you hive, but you can actually extend it to go back to this cage. It should save some time. Uh, yeah, first person mode is also really weird. Sometimes Raymond's face just does not disappear. And you can see his nose. Also, I'm gonna do a slam dunk right here against the wall. Because I'm going to hit a TNC while I'm glide walking. Hey. That looks really cool. Did he say? I need to go get stuck on my cubicle or something. <laughs> this game is weird. This game is weird, but it's it's nice. Fellas, want to know what's going on? Let me tell you the story of Rayman. But that's Rayman One. Best Rayman. Also, when on it's, the Atari Jaguar. When it's Rayman Four. Nice. Oh, no, 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 I'm not leaving this spot. What? <laughs> you broke my feelings again. <laughs> oh, heck, cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Skip the cutscene. Also, should we do a little shout out to Dave? Sure. Ach, Reflux and Andre have stolen the scepter of Kansi. Yeah, these are the doctors we didn't actually get to see them because we skipped the cutscenes. But by this point, uh, Glowbox has been cured. He sped out the Black Lom and he and Andre is now trying to take over the entire world. So, so this is the second level that has no Tinsy, so we can basically so we, go through this. We're just gonna skip everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. Oh my god! I also did this in practice. And this level is named the longest shortcut, and it's really the, long. The, the tower of the shortcut. The tower of the shortcut. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Pixel once again. And it's really long. It's not. Yeah, it's really long. Normally, it's really hard. There's also an RNG shoe in here, which we just all skip. In casual, this is the longest level in the game, but for speedrun, it's the shortest. Oh, good thing I don't. Not you knows how to open the door. Uh, just leave Bobox behind, we don't need him. So he thinks he is like uh, old style Uri Geller every time he tries to open a door. <laughs> He's like, say some, open me. Abracadabra. Oh, so Super Abracadabra. We are the knights who say knee. Hey. Mira, 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 right. walk on walk. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> That's like the only skip I cannot do. In the entire game. That's actually the fastest way to do it. That is really precise. That was really good, actually, what you just did there. Normally, you have to uh, flick around with the joystick, but now I just did it with one precise angle. Also, I want to get some revenge on Mario Kart. Yeah, this is a pretty good run up to this point. Could be better because of uh, yeah. I had a really bad start. Yeah, but the rest pretty good. 
Reflux und André al al ready hier. So the next level is going to be the most fun ever. It's the boat. Yep. The boat. Which is unskippable. It's RNG hell and takes forever. So a average, uh, I'm gonna time this from four minutes, uh, four, for four minutes on. I'm gonna try to time this because we need to get an average of three minutes on this. But the so music here is really cool, so that at least makes up for it. And uh, we want the first five boats to be in the side or the front. If it gets one in the back, then we call it bad boat RNG. And also the map is not showing up for some reason. That's weird. Now oh, there it is. it is. On the HD version, this map is reversed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's oh, it's it's not reverse. Rayman just moves weird on the map. That's bad RNG, I think. Yeah. I had the first three boats in the other sides. That was really good. They didn't pray enough to RNGs. Nah, it's because I play on a Nintendo console. <laughs> the RNG was still stored from Mario Kart. Well, it, it is the same Wii, so... Yeah, it's, it is the same Wii. Also, there's one thing we haven't even explained. And that's NTSC over PAL. Oh boy. Because currently I am playing on the NTSC American version of this game. And that's because of uh, old school consoles had like the switch between 50 and 60 hertz. And... Um, 60 and 50 hertz, and uh, PAL runs on 50 FPS because of that, and NTSC on 60, what also makes uh, a a super jumps easier because for some reason it gives you more height. So that's why we prefer NTSC over PAL for uh, almost every category. And it's really weird with Rayman 3 because on the GameCube version it even says in the manual that you can switch it to 60, 60 hertz, but it's just not, you just can't. There's actually an error in the manual. Das Handbuch is lying to us. That's just about Rayman 4. Are we gonna see Murphy in Rayman 4 though? I hope not. I'm just gonna put Ray uh, Ray Murphy in one of those cannons. <laughs> but also, this game makes a lot of references to Rayman 2, what is the previous uh, version of, uh, of, of the, the Rayman trilogy because uh, during one section in the fairy council he just says like after my role in Rayman 2 I'm, I'm now playing the guy who falls in love with the girl with great big eyes those great big uh, eyes oh wow wow that's a real that's really good RNG that's about it Three minute to three minute boat? This is a a little bit over three minutes. Yeah, it's a really good boat. Well, it's still sailing. Also, but Summit Beyond the Clouds. Next level we're in right now. Best music in game. Also, no, that is snowboard. Oh, that's snowboard. Don't get the pic. Actually, do get the pixel. <laughs> I should get the pixel. In memory. But the thing with this level is... Um, what do you call it? Uh, we, we have like our uh, setups for doing certain tricks. So for example, for some tricks you need to hold the first person mode first, some you have to grab a latch. But now it's the opposite. So if I grab one latch in this full level, I'm screwed. You can just pause to reset that, I think. No. no. It only works from the, the sequence uh, from RNG boats to here. Okay. So I can't reset. But all Tinsies is a little bit safer. It's because I don't have to do the extended jump here. Also, get hype for door skip. Is that one of the oldest tricks? Yeah, that was that was like the holy grail for a long time in the community. Yeah. So invincible kin tinsies. <laughs> because um, also just randomly snowballs just randomly coming out of the wall. The thing is because we sequence break and GameCube storage for some reason. Uh, it just makes certain enemies invincible. So, for example, there should be a hoodlum here. Well, the hoodlum just isn't spawning, so... Also, because I didn't grab a latch, I think, I can do this. Oh, what? 
Okay, then we're gonna do... Oh, this is an easy, easy strat. <laughs> Looks easy. As soon as I say that, he, <laughs> he doesn't get it. Also, there's a secret here with minecarts. When is Minecraft? Any percent. Soon. With Boston. So, what he's doing now is there is this door which you want to skip. And normally you just go outside of this cave and super jump over it. That's what we wanted to do. But actually, if you do that, you will despawn the entire level. So you're basically soft locked. So what we have to do is he has to get in this rock, which is very precise. Then position himself in first person mode. Then do a very precise, almost blind jump. It is a blind jump. It is a blind jump. Yeah, it is a blind jump. To get to the other, it's just hope to get to the other side of the door. Yeah. There did. we go. That's but a, I'm not done. That's, in my opinion, one of the hardest skips in the game. It doesn't even save that much time. Well. Can you remind me that I need to grab a blue can? Grab a just say grab blue can. Cap. Uh, can. Uh, can. Sir, you have to grab a blue can very no, soon. No, not yet, not yet. In a second. So first, we go down here. Oh yeah, you have to do this part. Kill this fella. Now we get his red can. And we can jump over this cutscene here, if I do it correctly. Oh. oh. Rip the frames. Yeah. Now I don't have to remember that I need to jump over it again because you have to oh, if you skip it you have to jump over it twice. You have to get a blue can by the way. I don't know if you still remember. Yeah, thank that. you, thank you. Already forgot. So. Random strat finding. Why isn't this working? And you maybe work. you work there we go okay now no I need the, the I need the tin C uh -oh. no it doesn't work this is how easily uh, people find strats in this game also nice collision detection on a bridge can you do what I want you to do please This is what I mean with all ten seasons the hardest category. Because there's even more to come. Come on, grab the Oh no. This is what we mean with latches in this game. Latches are bad. Very broken sometimes. Sometimes all the time. Great hive. No that yeah, that's the cage! And uh the targeting system sometimes leaves some some things to be desired in this game, that's for sure. Uh, rip estimate again. Uh, you can probably still make it. I am man. Nice. Oh hell. Never mind. We have to do this blue canless. Uh oh. We're gonna do this fast. By using OG strats. Oh, are you gonna do the glide walk? No, even oh, yeah. more. Even more OG. <laughs> Easy every time. It's actually one of the hardest super jumps to do. Because you need to hit the, the piggy bank at a certain point. Yeah. Piggy, piggy strats are always hard. Also, get ready for the best stage. In my in a lot of in my this opinion. This cage I forgot this cage during my first run. Nice. That's also what he did. Uh, because the, he hit the wizard and then immediately hit the enemy, which saves which saves him having to kill the wizard. So, some time. Should uh, we already take some time to explain the pixel? 
because the Pixel has a big history. So what just happened, Pixel was running this game and he was, so basically the snowboard section, you have to race Globox and win. So you can like fall down somewhere. You're going to, the, that's the entrance to the Hutlam headquarters. Yeah, but uh, there's this bridge and if you do it just right, you can push Globox off the bridge. So he will despawn and you can never win the race. And I think that basically killed like a very good World record run like in the early days. Remember our first Rayman, uh, the Dutch Rayman meetup, or the the, the meetup with the Ray memers. Yes. Ray memes. Uh, it was my first run on uh, 109 pace. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> and everybody was silent. It was 4 a.m. in the morning or something. <laughs> and just heard me screaming through his living room, "I hate my life." And it was like, "What's going on? What's going on?" Yeah, I think I have the pixel, and I just. Destroyed my my PB pace run by getting a really precise soft lock. Or yeah, the, getting the soft lock is actually really hard to get it intentionally. It's even it's hard it's, it's hard to do it intentionally and easy to do it without even noticing. Uh, you have to really go out of your way. Like the the bridge that's coming up, you can <laughs> actually watch out because he. Yeah, okay, you're fine. Here he is. You almost did it, by the way. But from yeah, people who fine. got it. Pink, orange, and gold is one. Alexis, frozen. Alexis, frozen. Me. Of course, pixel. Pixel. I think even uh, uh, Dave got it once. Probably. So now we're just bobsledding all of a sudden <laughs> on a snowboard because why not? In before, still pixel. Oh, you can hear him. Yeah, nice. So the cue for getting the pixel... Oh. The cue for getting the pixel is you don't hear him, but his audio is just continuously starts playing. My favorite level right here, the Hoodlum headquarters. And oh boy, Altinsi's route is hilarious. Shoutouts to Fortnite people. Yeah, there are like people screaming in the back. I'm just gonna do this for funsies. Was that it? I, d I couldn't tell. No. no. Also, you can change your angle after hitting a Tinsy by holding Y. <laughs> nice. So I'm gonna do. Okay. Hard super jump coming up. Ah, that's not hard. <laughs> It's well, not hard. During practice, it was very hard for you. Next, <laughs> no, it's this jump. Oh. After this, we're going to float down to some weird place we normally don't go to. But I need a little audio cue for this because my placement is going to be really important. Because we're going to float into a cutscene. And after the cutscene starts, I have around like a second to, to let go of all my inputs. Yeah. Also, the Hoodlums are, uh, are frozen because uh, it, they don't expect you to hit the cutscene from there. I'm gonna use first person here to find my placement. Oh. Oh, nice. That was a good placement. Oh. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, no. I got sniped again. This is really annoying. Stop sniping me. Stop uh, hold, get letting me. Audio just disappeared. Oh, for you? Yeah. Ah. Stop. No, stop it, dude. I'm. There we go. So now we're going to uh, go into free, free the camera. We're going to see a little funny Easter egg that they put in the game. The Eiffel it's Tower. The Eiffel Tower. Now first, I'm gonna hit him with a neutral fist, and we're gonna do a quick kill by one powered-up shot. And normally, you need two. Also, 
Utlam Headquarters 2, also known as Lady Skip, is an ult instinct. It's also a really difficult trick because uh, there's one really precise camera buffer to super jump here. X. I don't have audio. Boss. Audio problems will be fixed by our technical difficulties from sand skills and text era. While I'm doing this trick. So now that I have to Ooh, second try. That's really good. So now this is gonna be the tough part. I am going to go over, uh, around the stage, grab a Tinsy, and go back to the end of the level at the other side of a uh, cave, of a uh, of a gate. It should be good. There we go. Clappa. Into okay. I am going for that Tinsy Cage right here. Well, audio is getting fixed by our lovely tech team. There are oh, two cages here. This one is pretty annoying. Go cage one. Now we're going to extend this one. Go out of bounds through that corner. Pirates from Roma too, but arranged in uh, like the the last supper. There, I, he I hear you again. Oh, you have audio again? Yeah. Okay, that should be good. Okay. Yep. Yeah, uh, like uh, Niels tried to explain while I interrupt him. Uh. <laughs> There's a little Easter egg there, of course, uh, ba giving a throw back to Rayman too. Also, another uh, section with no uh, tinsies. And a horrible machine is coming up. What? The horrible machine is coming out. What, what's that? Overused joke incoming. <laughs> uh, just to say, the horrible machine is just a boss fight with a lot of RNG. And that machine is more horrible than my speedruns today. <laughs> that must be pretty horrible then. No comment. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can still hit Asmuth. Yeah, Asmuth's, Asmuth's pretty doable because we're almost at the end. If, oh. I, if I do left us one correctly, at least. Don't miss the cage. Also, oh, the scroller skip. Oh, nice. Nice. But that's nice. only part one. That's part one. I mean, that's a pretty hard skip by itself, so... Also, lava is coming up really fast to catch up. But well, it looks more like syrup. Lemonade. Looks more like Kool Aid or lemonade <laughs> than. Oh, yeah. Than oh, lava. Oh, yeah. You want some lemonade? Oh, nice. Okay, that's the second part. So we just skipped a full auto scroller. Hell yeah. Which is kind of rare, skipping an auto-scroller. Doesn't happen that often. Oh, I hit my mic. Sorry, headset users. Uh, so... We're now on to the last part this, of the run. Last, this last is world. the second hardest section, but it's gonna... Pro if I don't do this correctly, it's gonna lose me a lot of time. So I'm gonna really focus. So the thing is, there's a really precise setup, what I need to do twice, because... 
we have to get a uh, we have to get a few cages and after that go out of the section and we do that by using the same trick but first we need to grab this uh, grab one tinsy oh that was pretty yeah. pretty cool on any percent you just skip this really easy there's like this on its end jump that you can do and you like skip like 90 percent of this part first try it's really no. easy close That should be good. Oh, that's nice. really high. There we go. But I'm not done. I got to go blow a fuse. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Help me reminding that I need to uh, not forget that cage. The, the cage in like the second part. Yeah, yeah, the next level. So coming up is my focus time. This is like really. This is really ridiculous. So I just gonna need a pretty precise placement and a pretty precise angle as well. Oh. Yeah, this is not an easy, easy super jump to do. According to the speedrun.com leaderboards, Alexis already did this trick. Alex is already done by this. No, no. he has two. He's moments. now in the bus. He should be in the bus right now. Come on, I have a backup strat if needed, but that's literally so bad. There still is PB potential though. Hey. Okay, that's the first one. That's the location I have to go to. Uh, after doing this trick, the game twists you around for some reason. Hey. Oh hell. I'm gonna grab this one already. So now we have to do it three times. Oh, nice. I got to go and start microwave oven. But it's just... This trick is just really difficult because... Oh. The game t uh, turns you around for no... No reason at all. So you have to find your, uh, your visual cues to go out of bounds. What I should have, yeah. Nice. So that's the second time. So now only six cages left. So oh, so that means I am uh, I'm having a good tin I'm having a good tinsy count. I'm gonna do this hardcore now. I'm done. This trick is so ador annoying. So now I have to find. And it's also not that easy because you're not really flying blind, but it's still hard. There we go. Find. But he did it. <sighs> Finally done. Don't forget the cage in the next part. I won't. Otherwise, it's a really, really bad any percent run. <laughs> you are bad. Learn a speed game. <laughs> Raymond to revolution. Sure. Race. Okay, so we're going to do a IPG right now, what is basically the same as a PCM. But, but you just permanent. hit you just hit a can. It's permanent, you don't get the, se the selection. And uh, it's, it, it involves hitting a can when the cut when this cutscene starts, so I need an audio cue. Got it? Yes, nice. You can see it when, the, when your screen starts flickering uh, to a cool light. Uh, or when your camera just randomly starts twitching. And this is also one of the reasons why we prefer uh, runners... Oh, wait, that's... Uh, muscle memory! <laughs> like, we currently have two TV set up with the same game, and you can basically see why we prefer or 16x9 gameplay or 4x3. Because in IPG uh, or cutscenes, the game starts to uh, switch from 16x9... Uh, uh, from 4x3 to 16x9. And it's literally for no reason. Don't forget the cage. It's coming up. Oh, uh, that's why I just, uh, the setup took a little bit long. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go down here. I'm going a little bit over schedule. Again. Feels bad, man. Please don't ban me from BSG. Happens to the best of us. That's true. I'm the new Mr. Brood. Oh, 
IPG, the Dark Souls of all Tinsies. Oh, that's this rolling super jump. Exactly. You just barely don't get enough height. This kind of works with subpixels, I think. I'm not even mad if I go over estimate, to be honest, because this run is just way too difficult. I'm just happy that I could perform it at a marathon. I want to say so many words now, but I'm just going to say peck. That's a good Pokemon move. Oh, that's actually really bad. That's a cool Pokemon move. Don't forget this little Tinsy. That's yeah, right I lost there. a world record pace run to this Tinsy cage. <laughs> and to RNG. Also, now I can finally use the R button in an A form of infinite power up. Also, we're just gonna f kinda forget that walls exist and lay up. Not Another all the way, though. Not all the way. You're going to follow this level. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about the any percent route right now. So people think you can just go through this, but it's impossible. And I'm just gonna stop uh, choppering here, and that's just because uh, walking speed is faster than uh, flying speed. Don't also, if I grab this blue can, I'm yeah, screwed. Don't, don't pick up the blue can. Oof. That's a run killer right there, that blue cam. So two more left. We are we are right on sk on ten seconds. Nice camera. <laughs> exactly. Also, the balloons are faster. The heck you! <laughs> nice. Only one more TNC to go. Yeah, where should it, where could it be? Uh, in clearly for one. I think. Wait, I think I missed it. No, it's at the end, right? No, I think I missed it. I think I missed it, dude. Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Rip the frames again. We are currently just watching Nandy destroying the BSG schedule for the Sunday. She's gonna finish like two hours late today. <laughs> Luckily, I got a day off today. <laughs> I feel so sad now. I was actually planning to get the schedule five minutes higher. We also started like 10 minutes late. Oh, we were correct. Also, Invincible Flames. Oh, nice. Are you gonna do the. Flesh skip. Uh, I don't know the uh, official Call name. of Duty skip, Call boy. Call of Duty skip, that's the one. Okay, Tex. You want to play the little game again? What game? I bet you on five euros that I get caught skip first try. Deal. <laughs> caught skip is like a little glitch in this game. Where you can clip through water with this airplane vehicle thingy. And it's a really big meme in our community for getting this uh, first try. Because it's not super easy. I'm gonna make a guess and okay. you'll get it fourth try. I say second try. Wow. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say third try. No one believes in you that you're gonna get that first and otherwise, try. Otherwise, text is gonna cost you money. Could use a few more windows though. Andy? Oh. One. One. Say it isn't so. Called it. Nice. Nice. And the flames are back. Let's go. And now it's just. Maybe I'm gonna even hit estimates. I know it's just what? sailing to the end. 
Yeah, that's very possible. It's a really small chance, but then I have to do task threats. Just, just do it. Final boss. I love this level. It is final boss is cool. It only takes a really long time. It should be around six to yeah, six, between it. six and eight to nine minutes. Yes, Andy. With the five leaf, this salary scepter. Infinitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Andy. Yes, Andy. Yes, Andy. Yes, Andy. Yes, Andy. Can't, Can't you, you say, say anything else? else? No, Andy. Bon Appetit. Okay, one of the best songs in the game is coming up. And the best boss fight, because I'm going to do one, two, three. Or are you going to one cycle in? I'm going to do the one, two, three cycle. So I'm just gonna bash into reflux. Ah, to cycle. Oh. At least have enough HP to not die. That's too bad. Ah, it's okay. Two cycles, good. Are you gonna two cycle the next stage? Ah. Don't give me three cycle. Don't give me three cycle. Nice. Okay, next phase. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a three cycle. I'm gonna say two cycle. The thing with the next phase is, it's it, it's it's really 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 difficult. Let's hope the le the, the last painful. stage spawns the next stage. It's really painful. Just m the mashing is so hard. I would not recommend playing this boss fight for an hour straight. Good RNG so far. We want him to hit him to the left. Because it gives us a little boost. Oh. And also, if you get back in the ring, the floor is lava. Now. <laughs> the floor is lava. <laughs> that meme is dead. Just I like this know. estimate. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be two cycle. Oh my! Oh my! That's a lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah! Oh man, he's patronizing you. He's bullying us. Let's get the bully hunter. Bully hunters. We should stop with those memes, to be honest. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. So now we have only two more phases. We have one we don't. This, this is the death screen. Like, you remember Donkey Kong? That had a death screen. Pac Man had a death screen. Rayman has one as well. But it's a one in one, one million chance to get it. Yeah, like, is. there is a uh, chance that when you press. Uh, the rocket on the top uh, a few frames after uh, a few frames after you hit it uh, a duplicate Rayman will spawn and if that duplicate Rayman dies you die and yeah then you have to do this whole boss fight all over again and there's also a chance that the can won't spawn at all that happens sometimes I haven't seen that before it's really rare I think LX has got it once there's also a chance that all the platforms just disappear. Yeah. This game is good, well programmed. This game is well programmed. Even HD is good. Especially that cutscene. 
Now we can see it is 16 by 9. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. You orc. The table just <laughs> bar the table just almost collapsed. When worlds collide. So can you explain the final phase maybe? So we're in the in the ship again, but when we were doing Call of Duty, caught uh, the 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 gun gets shot automatically, but now you have to button match the gun and it likes to diverge. So we have to break a shield and hit him like two times. After we've done that, uh, he will stand in the middle of the arena and he will spawn a ton of hoodlums. And they take down his health. Like, he makes his health really low, spawns a lot of hoodlums. We have to bomb those hoodlums because those hoodlums will restore his health. And if you do it well, you can get it, do it in like two cycles, if I remember correctly. But two that's cycles. really that's really hard. Also, I want to give a shout out to Alexis for optimizing this uh, th this phase because nice. my gold and his gold are 25 seconds off. It's it's really insane. This this boss fight can be optimized so much. Well, that's what I was talking about. He's not spawning the hoodlums. So we're trying to hit as many hoodlums in the first phase because that makes it easier for the second one. But the second one is the crucial one. Well, this is also a very crucial phase. This basically decides if you get world record or not. World record is dead. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if a two cycle is still possible. It is. It is. I got really bad RNG. Is it? Now we get. Uh, some people call it a two cycle and some a three cycle because you get uh, this phase, you get that three times, and the hoodlum phase two times. Yeah, I'd like to call this a three cycle. <laughs> I'm doing the opposite. <laughs> so I can feel better about my speed. You see me mashing A and B at the same time, and that's just because uh, it reduces mashing speed. But doesn't uh, destroy my hand. Still gonna be a PB. <laughs> yeah. Still gonna be a PB. <laughs> Overestimate PB, hell yeah. I just feel bad for the BSG staff for go for me going over estimates twice in one day. Yeah, that was a nice hit. That that, that, that one was, was nice really hit. nice. Really good face. That was a really nice phase indeed. So... Time should be coming up in around 30 seconds. Time is when we taunt Andre. So this is the last time we're going to see Reflux. Reflux and Reflux and Rayman fanfiction. Shoutouts to Dave's sister. What? Don't you know that? I do not. We have like this little Rayman meme with a fanfiction drawn by the sister of Wizboy, and it's all pinked everywhere in the Rayman Discord. So we're now finishing ref uh, Reflux. Right. Time is coming up, by the way. Time is when we taunt Andre, which should be really soon. Why is this a PB? I wanted to get sub 40. And time. Five minutes PB. That just shows how difficult this run was. 
Like, I can just say it once again. I completed it. That's just the thing I'm really happy about. It's just sad that I went over estimate, but this run was really freaking difficult. It's just there. We only have two runners for this category right now. Active and, runners. And that's Alexis and me, for all Tinsies at least, because it's just way too difficult to run. Like, when you get used to this category, it just maybe helps a little bit, but just overall, this is just way too difficult. I, once again, if you want to see this again, at BSG Annual, I'll be running any percent with this run as a donation incentive. So if you want to torture me, remember that during the Rayman block on Monday. So once after this, we have a um, link to the past two player one controller randomizer. So stay tuned. Goodbye. Thank you.